Hi Gemini. Well, as a Gemini, you will understand what I'm doing. <laughs> I just got an idea and um, I'm still waiting for my new cards and I thought, right, I'm going to do an update on the yearly because the energy has changed so drastically. Nobody saw um, the, the COVID-19 coming and how drastic it would be. Peace to all and health and safety to all my cyber angels and those that are with you or that are your children or relatives or friends. For everybody I wish peace, health and happiness and no more sadness. So that's why I'm making these videos to so that you can compare them to the yearlies and see whether the ed energy has changed and is more um, apt to the time it is now. You can compare it to the yearlies like I said and see what has changed. And I hope this will give you a little bit of enjoyment and know that I'm supporting you with the best of my ability and I love you all dearly my Jimmy Jim Jims. And thank you very much for all your support and especially to my cyber angels that have subscribed and hit that bell uh, on all and if you're new please do so if you are a private uh, person you can also hit that bell and um, hit it on all then you'll be a cyber angel as well so if I know there's about 5,000 viewers that are not clicking so please 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 click on um, the the button or uh, subscription button and hit the bell then you will be a cyber angel okay you don't have to come into the life I'm I think you're so true and honest and faithful that um, I hope you will um, take a pleasure and happiness extra happiness a bit of uh, healing energy and best wishes by clicking on that button and be my cyber angel let it be known to the world that we are a beautiful channel and for the very very new people welcome to the channel and I do go live Monday Wednesday and Friday and please subscribe as well and hit the bell on all let's grow and let's come together like the Beatles said they were prophets prophets I believe that the Beatles were prophets especially John uh, Lennon and George Harrison well now you know who my favorites are uh, and um, funny enough talking about the Beatles um, what's his name not Ringo Starr the other one um, I forgot his name Paul McCartney I saw him on TV and he did uh, speak very wise words I can't remember them so I'll have to go back to YouTube and see whether I can find the interview of uh, um, Paul McCartney he's had his uh, juice as well in his life but all my prayers go out to rich to poor healthy well uh, wealthy less wealthy people doesn't matter color or creed so please come in and join in in the live sessions we respect each other and we stand together and we have listening ears and we do exchange experiences as you know that is what a family is and ought to be that's why it's called the cyber family so this is your seventh month reading from June July August September October November December the overall energy the clarification cards and four Oracle cards one of them is special that is uh, called show and tell this person that made this deck um, he is using very ordinary photos now if you are a reader you can also use postcards if you can't afford the deck or if you've got old postcards you can use them as a theme card and see what you can get from that but I'll go more into that card when I come to it <coughs> I do have um, a bit of a sore throat because I've already made uh, a lot of videos and I'm waiting like I said for my new cards and to do reviews but there's uh, more uh, episodes coming out on the witches series 
okay uh, if you would like more information you can find it below the video or you can find it in the little white uh, clicking on the white dot with the eye in it and that will take you to my website so if you would like an extended reading then please jo um, send me an email and if you would like your question answered in the live session I will do so after donation or super sticker or super chat otherwise there will be just free cards sometimes it's two sometimes it's three it has a life of its own the live chat okay the tea room the first card you begin with Gemini is the death card and you're in a transformational period you are leaving the old behind well that is very apt as we are leaving uh, May behind and all the the do's and the don'ts of the Covid virus. Things are opening up now here in Holland and you can travel um, like uh, you can travel with the public transport but it is law now that you have to wear a mask for example so things are changing and of course the hairdressers are open so everybody can go to the hairdresser again so they can transform so I think this is a beautiful card perhaps you've already been to the hairdresser and get a new refreshing look the card um, that is uh, uh, clarifying is the Empress so the Empress she looks gorgeous and she's wearing her crown and she stands for fertility birth of a child or birth of a new job a new project a new home something she has sown is growing because she nurtures it so growth blossoming and harvesting perhaps now you've got a different outlook on life perhaps now you have got a new job or a new home or you're hearing of a birth or finding out you're becoming a mother or a grandmother or an aunt so that is beauty like I said transformation and this is the Empress is um, Libra but we've also got the death card which is also represents Scorpio so your partner might be a Scorpio or a Libra okay or you might be meeting somebody or you might be the grandmother so anybody that's a Libra or a Scorpio are very prominent in June you might be meeting one of them in July you have the nine of fire things have been pretty heavy for you you've been through the wars you it was a tough time for most of you like everybody it was a tough time but for you it it did something to you and I think that's why I said um, you're changing your life perspective perhaps you might enjoy life a little bit more now because there's a new beginning definitely in June and July there is a new beginning but you're standing still by what has happened and it looks like the drawing is like that but it looks like he's thinking in this card that's what it means to me um, these stripes above his head okay it's the drawing on the cave wall but I think you're standing still and taking our and focus and thought on what has happened and how to carry on you're nearly there so don't give up now to that new beginning perhaps you've had a broken heart perhaps you are one that have lost somebody or lost a pet lost a, a loved one lost a job there's hun millions of people that have no job the situation in America is really really bad and one thing is they they are putting it out on the news so that's one good thing they are honest about and uh, my prayers and my healings go out to everybody like I said note that the time of this bad time the loss the sadness the frustration is nearly over time will heal so join us in the tea room and get some healing done we have healing sessions there as well it's all for nothing then you have the justice card and again Libra is coming out justice also represents Libra 
you you've been out of balance or you might still be out of balance but in August you will come back into balance Gemini you always land on your feet you're just like a cat it might take you a little bit longer now but because you might be a little bit more emotional but Gemini let's face it we are the Gemini's and like the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords we've got our in, uh, emotions under control when we have to do business so if you're in a judicial situation then you keep your emotions under control you will get justice you will get what you deserve definitely in August and I think people will not go on holiday not because they can't um, or they might not feel it's safe enough but I think they've been so many months without work that they are so happy to get back to work and that they will work through the summer holidays now that they are also used to having the children at home so in America I don't think the children will go back to university in school and nursery until at the beginning of September but they they are going back here in Europe but I think when the uh, summer holidays uh, uh, come that a lot of people will be used to the coronavirus and the way of living that um, but we will be, be prepared to it for it in the summer holidays but I think they will continue to work to catch up with the backlog as well then you have the knight of swords and look at that owl the owl represents wisdom so rip um, use your wisdom your intelligence gem um, because you can write this out you can fly out okay and you can even carry somebody on your back you are stronger than you think and this news could be through email airmail or telephone or text message you m you might even meet a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius and this is happening in August well um, you might have sown the seeds for something because you had the Empress so that means a new beginning again in September there's new things opening up and perhaps all the down lockdowns are, uh, are gone so you can start afresh perhaps refresh some things in your own business or make a business out of a hobby because you're used to working perhaps 50 50 home and work perhaps some of you are enjoying this so much that you will start your own business from home so that you can carry on if such um, calamity arises again because they say there might be a second peak this is the Queen of Pentacles she also is the same as Mother Earth the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles she represents Virgo so you might meet a Virgo or you might be doing business with Virgo but you could also be hearing about a birth of a child or a project or this is a very fertile time so whatever you're going to do beginning September it's going to be fine so long you nurture it it will grow and blossom and then you can harvest she's got the green fingers so she will she knows how to nurture it now there could be a Virgo around you that could be manipulative or bossy so be careful of that because you've got the devil here okay and you can see the chains but they've got still their paws free so that means don't let anybody uh, manipulate you or play the boss over you you can stand your own ground Gemini because you believe in justice and you've got the card of justice in August okay so I think you're breaking free and I think you will have broken free and you don't let anybody manipulate you anymore and you you don't have to manipulate to get your freedom perhaps so be aware of bad habits or addictions walk away from other people's dramas and manipulative attitude or bossiness or bad habits you don't have to carry their problems that's their problem then you have the nine of C wow 
and this is in October. The nine of C is the nine of cups. Your wish, your goals, or perhaps your ideas are coming to fruition. They're actually coming into the real physical world in October. Again, an ending of a bad time or uh, uh, frustrations and our October will be brilliant. So keep this video downloaded so you can check all the month uh, every week or uh, you can watch uh, all the videos from each month and compare it to the month in this reading and the yearly reading. There have been uh, uh, delays and stalls pending. You've got the hanged man. Look how sweet it is. The cat is climbing into the curtains and hanging upside down. So there might have been um, delays like, uh, let's have a look, June, July, August, September. So we're starting this reading or this, this spread from June and that uh, so in October you might see your fruit of labor boom 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 okay now we've got uh, September we've got the Mother Earth as card as well the Queen of Pentacles so you might see invest in um, September in something or you might get pregnant in September if it's not in June in June, if you get pregnant in June, you'll be pr pregnant four months, four and a half months in o uh, October. If you are getting pregnant in September, you could be pregnant four weeks and find out after four weeks in October. Wow. So something is in delay um, in um, October, uh, or you might get an other perspective or be more be more aware of your different point of view or different way of life because you're coming into a better life your dream is coming true your ideas your wishes and when the nine is an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning wow you are free to come out of the curtains and take action you've had your time out you've got a different uh, uh, perspective you've meditated or contemplated and evaluated and you know how to carry on right usually when I see the hanged man I say there could be a delay of four hours four days four weeks four months and in the extreme cases perhaps four years but I don't want to do um, a reading with energy for four years I usually go from now to three to six months to a year again you've got a nine and you've got the nine of pentacles so wow money is coming to you in November again an ending you're going into a ma much more of a voluptuous luxurious life and you've got a nine nine because they are together they are there standing together and in fact you've got three nines out of the four nine 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 amazing an angel number go and have a look on Google what nine 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 means but it is an angel number it's a treble number nine and nine is 18 and nine is 27 two and seven is nine so it could be the ninth month and the ninth month is in September it could be the best month yet okay so remember nine again you've got the death card and the death card you've got two death cards so you know um, it's double <laughs> double up so again transformation in November um, yes definitely if you're getting a pay rise or if you're getting a gift or um, because the nine of earth does mean that you're coming into money it could be uh, justice will be done where did we have justice we had justice in August so it might because of the summer holidays it might be finalized in October uh, the nine of cups and the nine of C so that means that your wish is coming true it might be finalized and justice will be done and you might get the uh, financial benefit in November again a Scorpio it could be with a Scorpio 
and in uh, November, October, that is also the Scorpio month. So Scorpio is quite prominent here, okay? And number nine. Number nine is Libra Virgo. So autumn is very important to you, Geminis. Just let me forewarn you for that. Then we have the Tower. Unexpected changes at the end of the year in December. Something that was not built on proper foundations will fall. Boom. This could be friendships. This could be relationship. Ships. Friendships are relationships. If through all this troubled time you haven't heard from a person or they haven't supported you, you might break this friendship. You're done with it. You give them so many chances and then that's it. You cut yourself free. Ooh. But if the door closes, then 20 doors will open. That's the saying. And that's what I believe. Wow. That is so magical. You know, don't give up, Gemini. You're the one that can... All, you know, my mum used to say, stand up when you've fallen down, brush yourself off and carry on. And in England they say, try, try again until you succeed. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Again, a double card. Now, I saw a reading, and that was in Brenda Tarot card reading, and she had a lot of double cards as well. So that is quite significant, Gemini, that we seem to get double cards in our readings. It's a different reading. Brenda did um, a, a weekly reading. Um, but she had three or four cards that were the same. Now we're doing a seven month reading and uh, we've got the death card. We've got the queen of pentacles and which one else was it? The death card. Um, and that's it. So that and we've got 999. So um, yeah, it's really again fertile. There is fertility for a new beginning in December, so don't give up. When, when this tower in December could arrive, for some of us, I know it will not relate to all of you, so have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign, but you know, um, uh, the, again, this some people would say is contradictory, but it isn't, because the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo, so Virgo is also prominent. Scorpio, Virgo, um, and what did I say? Libra. Okay. Uh, now the devil, the devil, the devil was Aquarius. The devil is Aquarius, so it could be an Aquarian as well. Okay. Uh, no. The devil is Capricorn. Uh, the star is well, sorry, I'm seeing the star here. It's Capricorn. The devil is Capricorn. Okay, and the star is um, Aquarius. Okay, navigating through. Yeah, sorry. Sometimes I do muddle things up. Well, I'm only human. So, uh, anyway, if you've sown seeds, nurture them well. Take care of what you sow, and you shall reap. Wow, and you've got number seven. And I just said that before I saw it, because I was busy with the Queen of Pentacles. What you sow, you shall reap. So make sure you do it with a pure heart and love, and you'll get it back threefold, definitely. It takes time, okay? It takes time to grow. Remember that. That's, that's why it could it might be the delay in uh, November, because your wish might be delayed and could come in a little bit later at the end of the year. So don't give up and the uh, overall energy is the four of sky and that's the four of swords. So take your time out, meditate and contemplate. Okay, use it wisely. Write down your new ideas so you can bring them into when it's ready to plant again because once you plant and th then things grow and they come to harvesting you should already have a backup so that you can plant and take let it grow and nurture it so that when you need it next year you can harvest that like farmers cycles life is a cycle 
so plant write that take a book or a dream book or a diary and note your ideas down that you get through dreams or meditation or contemplation so that you have a backup all the time and I think that is what you've learned a different perspective of the whole situation what happened this year definitely in July you might stand still yeah why should I go on holiday I can have day trips here in around my own environment or region let's get to know my region now I'm using the inspiration deck from uh, uh, Wayne Dwyer Dyer. see the perfection of the plan yes you can always tweak a plan to make it perfect or better because there's nothing perfect in this world why not look at your entire life as the unfolding of a plan you participated in before you arrived here by doing so you will shift from blaming others and circumstances to being responsible and feeling your purpose so this year you might shift your perspective and know what your purpose is or what you're that you're passionate about what you're passionate about is your purpose whatever shows up in your life is a part of the perfection of this plan and remember you know at this moment your calling or your feeling your passion might be your children so that's your purpose at this moment and all purpose can always change from time to time because when ch children grow uh, up and they leave the house then you ha you'll have to find an other purpose so that you can maintain to enjoy life and actually you should have a couple of purposes your hobbies yourself to maintain yourself to love yourself to honor yourself and have peace within yourself so remember you have to think of yourself and your life purpose so if you're healthy strong and wise because you are a gem you would love to gather knowledge and you want to pass it on to others perhaps that is one of your passions that's a purpose to teach others now you can take a gamble you can take a gamble because you've got the dice so you can perhaps change your passion or your purpose in life at this moment perhaps that is what you might be feeling but you can gamble buy a scratch card or a lottery ticket but don't go mad at the casino don't let the other twin get the better of you now this card show and tell they if if you would like to do this this could be really great fun especially with the children if your children are always on their iPhones or tablets then it's perhaps a good idea to make um, like a weekly meeting with the family and sit down and you give each four cards then they have to turn them around and then show and tell so you show and then you ask them what do you think about this card what does this card mean for you well a child might come out and say I want to go to the drag racing or I want a racing car you see what I mean it breaks the ice it to me this card means you might be stuck in the mud but what does this card mean for you I'll hold it up so you can click on the phone and take a screen print and, and print it out and see what it means for you you might have felt stuck in the mud and heavy going especially with the nine of ones and the hanged man and the three of swords what does this car or this picture mean to you you can also see a little bit of a light but it's not burning I wish I could really talk to you in real life so I could get people's definitions so leave your reactions below the video let me know what the show and tell card means to to you I would lo if anybody has problems or issues or um, situations then come into the life and if it's too private 
send me an email and we'll get together wow and the last card is your romance card there will be an engagement well this could be an engagement to marriage or there could be an engagement engagement so somebody might get engaged with something okay could be two people a best friend for life you might get engaged and start a new passion with a, g a girlfriend or a, a, a man friend your love life is ascending to a higher level of communication yes communicate don't do it through whatsapp or messenger try to speak you've been given a mouth an archangel michael the archangel of talk and protection and clarity and honesty and justice is there use your throat talk with a beautiful intonation intonation is the way you speak remember you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar so if you want to get out of the mud in a from a relationship this could be work this could be general this could be in a relationship that you're stuck in the mud then use honey be charming Gemini you've got the gift of the gab you can do the walk you can do the talk so do it I love you all my gems I hope you have enjoyed this reading take care be blessed and I do go live Monday Wednesday and Friday unless something comes in between so please give us the thumbs up and share with family and friends. I love you. Ginormous. Be blessed.